fucking shitty, shitty fucking fedora and go eat a dick. Well, good evening to you, everyone. This is uh, Vin Vader coming to you live from Canada. I wanted to answer some questions, but I know you guys won't want to sit here through a long video, so I'm going to try to make it short. But if anybody wants to talk one on one, that's not a problem. Um, I've done it before with a couple people from Jimmer's uh, chat and their subs, or not their subs, but their moderators there that I know came over and tried to make peace with me. Anyways, uh, what I want to do tonight is I want to explain something. I don't hate the people in his chat. I think they're a lot like I was back in the day when I used to make videos for this guy and do so much for him trying to help promote his channel. I was a follower. I'd go around in the same things in the chats, uh, say they're liars. Jimmer doesn't do this. Jimmer doesn't do that. Until I realized he was a hateful person and hurt quite a few people I know. Um, now, I want to answer some questions from these people. Um, like this Breakfast Club asked a question of me. Basically, why I um, claims to be trying to protect children, but I admitted to doxing Misery's wife and children. I didn't dox his wife and children. What I did, I'm going to expose tonight actually who doxed his, his children and his wife or his ex-wife. And this person is a piece of shit. And I'm going to expose it. You're, you'll hear him in his own words admitting to doing this. He, he just, he contacts people off my Facebook from an old account I had, plus put up pictures of my grandchildren saying I wanted to fuck them and putting out their names and shit like this. This is the type of guy he is. Um, he used to do 10 hour streams about me, shit like this. Why? Because I've always exposed the truth and I show, as you guys would call it, receipts. You call your true crime community. Well, I, I make sure I, I've got facts and I, I was there actually for all this. So I know what I'm talking about with hundreds of others. Anyways, so tonight I'm going to answer some of your questions, and basically you'll hear from the person who did this uh, questions. Now, I went into Jimmer's past, because I used to do videos for him. I have had a lot of clips taped of him. I even have a tape here of him saying some weird shit. I'm going to play it for you. You guys listen to it, and then I'm going to say some things right after it. Anyways, here we go. And it's, it's, if I have a choice... To either be with my kids or not. I mean, I don't have a choice because you don't know my history. You don't know what I've done and where I came from. And I don't know how I hide behind it. Now, this was when he was living in a hotel. His son was going to come stay with him. And basically, all of a sudden, everything changed. We don't know why, what happened. He was in a good mood. Oh, my sons are going to come live with me. Then all of a sudden, he comes on and acts really weird towards people and he, and he starts crying about this after hands he called him out that he should be taking care of his kids um, and those things he says he says you don't know what I've done um, that he didn't have a choice this is some weird weird comments what didn't he do that we didn't know about we don't know what he's done didn't have his choice this is the reasons his kids aren't coming to him Kind of strange. No one fucking walked into your, uh, you know, like your courtroom and got your child custody removed for a year because of this horseshit. Now he says something even more stranger. He says he's not able to see his children for a year because of what we've done. Back then, we weren't doing anything towards him. Now, for a court to rule against someone, they don't you're going to go into court and say, Your Honor, he, he has a YouTube channel. So let's not let him see his children for a year. There's a lot more to it. No, no judge is going to rule on that. That's very strange. But the records are sealed. It's family court. Okay, now we're getting to the part where I want to really expose this person who doxed uh, Jimmer's wife and kids. Now, you're going to hear Jimmer talking to uh, Lemonade here. Uh, this is from two nights ago, I believe. Um, now, they're talking about the doxing of his wife and kids. Listen up. I tried so, to explain it to him, but okay. And then they go ahead and dox my fucking ex-wife, who I've been divorced since 2009? 2009! You say that you did it, that you doxed them. See, I mean... I doxed who? My own children and my family? Uh, Members? I mean, they said those that are the did people that. you want to believe. Just wanted to comment here. Now you heard his words. 
those are the people you want to believe. Like we're scumbags, eh? So remember those words. These are the people well, that now, are incredible. Now they're not, but they all, all right. they sure come across as they are. All right, they so sure why would across? I dox my own children who I love? I mean, who I want I to mean, see every fucking time I can get a chance to see them. This and is my just own a fucked situation. Ex-wife I mean, who takes this care is a of fucked them. Situation. Now you just heard him say... The kids that he loves, that he would like to hear from each day and about his ex-wife. Why would he dox them? Do you remember that? He just said that. Now let's listen on to a day he had a conversation where he was sober. He was coming clear, straight to everybody about what he's done in the past because he's making amends and he's never going to live stream again. Now let's listen to what he has to say on this day about his wife and kids. Okay, so Nosferatu wants to know why I freaked out about the my kids' names. Well, I think was it fake? Uh, I wouldn't call it fake. I think it would just be more of like you're in the moment of battling with at that time a network or an individual, mainly an individual to me. And I don't have to say the individual's name again, but you know, we're going back and forth eight, nine months, right? And then, you know, when they have their kids' names, like, you just want to have something to fire back with. Pretty much it. You know, I've, I've said my kids' names multiple times before. Um, with my tattoos, I said, oh, Zachariah, this is Zachariah. I showed it on my Periscope or my YouTube. I showed my other kid's name, Isaiah. I said, that's Isaiah. And it's put two and two together. Yeah, Isaiah Nam, Zachariah Nam, no. If you're a weirdo and you want to go kill people, then you're going to go kill people, right? And you're going to do something weird and crazy, but most people aren't. So, you know, you go back and forth with one another. Um, that Those parties knew that we were... It wasn't for fun, though. It wasn't like we were doing it... We literally hated each other. I have to be honest about that. Like, we hated each other, and we wanted to, like, attack each other as much as we possibly could. So, whoever was dirtier, then I get, you know, we try to one up each other. You know, whether I call his his wife or I call his uh, uh, wife's work, uh, I, I called his wife some um, answering machine and stuff like that. You just try to one up each other. That's it. And then he, you realize at a certain point, it took us eight to nine months to realize that, you know what, we're getting nowhere. We have this lawsuit pending. Well, what do you want to do? Let's just get the fuck out of here and just walk away from each other. And that's what we did. Because it was getting ridiculous. It was like we were regurgitating old shit, you know. So it just was, it was becoming, it was becoming uninteresting to the, uh, the viewers. Like a lot of the viewers were just not really getting into this whole thing. This whole podcast war battle. It, it is intriguing at times, but then, you know, you play along with it and you go along. Now, is it fake, Nosferatu? I can't say it was fake, but it wasn't like, uh, yeah, you have to play that part, right? The victim part. You have to play that part to be the winner or look like you are, in a sense. Well, people, you just heard this creep. He is the one who doxed his own children, the kids that he loved. Why? To play the victim part. Okay? You have to play the victim part to be the winner. So he had you going lying for months, putting other people's names down, up there. Oh, it was uh, unbleached. It was what the fuck. Are they all doxed me. They, they put my wife's shit out there. No, we didn't. He put his own fucking kids' wife stuff there. He even did the YouTube count. He doesn't remember back when me and him and Mankind had a two-hour combo helping to put up his Mac when he was discussing that shit about uh, making fucking, um, what's his name from Gonzo, uh, basically look like a real asshole. Um, you know, who got private pictures of his wife and his family and kids and shit like that. Plus also, I'm going to show you pictures of, of you, Twitter accounts I took down in a day. Three of them. Uh, 24 hours they were taken down. 
He goes, oh, it took me a year and a half to get that thing taken off. It doesn't take no year. Jim, you're so full of shit. You lie about everything. You have your, your sub sink that you're fucking, all, all everything you say is gold. It ain't gold. You're a fucking bullshitter. And now, now you made them look like fools because they were playing the line. Oh, Jimmy Rohn, he was dogs. So you guys are assholes. No, he dogs himself, people. This is the type of guy you're following. I remember he, we used to have combos. If you remember the Mankind combo there, Jimmer, where you discussed that basically the subs fucking are, are gullible and that you can win anything. I mean, it's, and that they love you. I mean, this is fucking the type of guy you are. You know, you put people down for being overweight or if they, oh, you put me down because I lost my leg. Big fucking deal. I'll hop along. I could give a shit. But I mean, you put down people for having cancer. Oh, I hope they die. I mean, you know, some, you're a Korean. You're a fat little Korean. You're balding. You look like an idiot. You say you don't wipe your ass properly. You got no friends. You admitted that. Do we make fun of you? Of course we do because you're an asshole. You know, and you people there that follow this guy, you know, think about it. The courts took away his children. Why? He says he can't discuss it. They didn't take it away because he's on YouTube. If that was the case, all you guys wouldn't have your children. Think about it. Something's fucking weird about this guy. Anyways, people, you heard the evidence. He docks his own fucking children. He's that much of a creep. Anyways, if you want to follow him, <laughs> I feel sad for you. Anyways, have a good night, and we'll talk to you later. And Jimmer, I'm going to come after you harder now because you know something? The more I think about it, uh, after you did that to Michael J. Fox, putting all my information out there towards him and putting my kids' pictures up there, I'm going to come after you harder. Anyways, have a good night all. And there's not going to be a next time. Promise that. No, I am done. And, uh... I only wish... I wish everyone the best. And, uh... Not gonna be live streaming anymore. That's all, folks. Good. Yes, shout out. What's good? Good looking wave radio. What's poppin'?